number three in the 24. Yeah, Alexis Weber is buried in there somewhere. She is in that wall of water. We may see her as he sneaks around. Yes, we are going to have Stephen Armstrong in one, Alexis Weber in two, Jonathan Abbott in three, and Kenny Wilson in four. But right now, T1, Brandon Kennedy is all the way on the outside, lays the start. Yep, there it is, the start going down into turn number one. The CT11 of, of uh, Stephen Armstrong feeds Jonathan Abbott in the CT10, the Flying Eagle. Oh, my, he got wet. Alexis Weber has gotten wet in the pit in the T10. Blood with disaster. She's got really wet in there. She's in third place from that in turn number one. Way up on her outside. That is our high blood champion. Brandon Kenny back in fifth place. I'm not used to seeing him way back there. What do you think, Dave? I tell you what, Stephen Armstrong looks really strong. We're going to have to wait and see, though, if there's any penalties on this move coming up for the start. But right now, it's Stephen Armstrong as he hooks that skip in up while the water comes up as they enter the boathouse turn. Jonathan Abbott just on his hip, giving chase. But Brandon Kennedy comes out of nowhere. He's hunting him down on the outside in third place. Yeah, we know Brandon hit the start right on. So if there are any penalties between these top two boats, he will be your triple pound champion. So he's got that pedal to the floor. But we're going to call him, like we see it, he'll be back. One down, four to go. The CT11 of Stephen Armstrong, all the way from Canada, is still your leader. The CT10, the Flying Eagle, he's in second place. The T1, the Shameless, is in third. Back and forth. The T24 pin. This happened at the one-minute pin. We don't know. We got. We gonna have to wait and see. Alexis Weber, she's hitting some hot water there. She's bouncing up and down. Back in the fifth position. Back in sixth position. That is the CT. That's Leah Husick. Leah Husick. Leah Husick. Yeah, Husick. Yeah, water race. She is running right now. She is driving nice and clean and smooth. You can see Alexis Weber hitting a bunch of holes. And Leah's just on her outside getting that smooth of water. She's able to pick up a little bit of ground. But right now, it is all oh, Stephen Armstrong as he comes around the second turn coming up to complete lap number two. Yeah, that's two down. That's three to go. Stephen Armstrong from Canada. He's got his boat of sailing away. That is Brandon Kennedy, the 18-year-old. He knows what he's doing. He's making up ground. He's late. reduced his second-place deficit to two boat lights. He's inside the Rooster Tail, trying to have it in the CT10. And as they go into the first turn, it's still Stephen Armstrong, but both Jonathan Abbott and Brandon Kennedy are cutting his lead down. It's only one rooster tail, but the battle right now is shaping up for second between Jonathan Abbott and Brandon Kennedy as they come up that back stretch with that wind blowing just slightly across the jump tank. Brandon's able to keep his boat hooked up a little better than Jonathan Abbott. And as they end of the boathouse turn, they are neck to deck for second place. Yeah, you can see Brandon Kennedy, he just now takes second place away. We got that traffic. We got that traffic. I don't know how that's going to affect Stephen Armstrong, who's up in first, but it's going to make Brandon go way outside of that lap boat. He's gone outside, and here he comes. He's mounted a charge. It is lap number three down. We got two to go, and there he is, your high point champion from last year, ladies and gentlemen. He is in within one foot lane, coming around turn number one, and he takes the lead into turn number one. But Stephen Armstrong is not going to give it up so easily. He's on the inside lane. He's going to have to shove Brandon Kennedy all over the place if he has any hope. Jonathan Abbott just sitting back hoping that nothing happens, that these guys don't come together because they are tech to tech. And now Brandon Kennedy pulls away to a one boat length lead all the way on the outside to take a look at the back stretch. Yeah, this is something we saw Brandon do when he was in his five leader on Friday. He went from fifth to fourth to third to second, and now he's in the lead. He's opened his lead up to at least one. Rooster Tail, maybe one and a half. Rooster Tail, look at that T1. That's why he's got the number one on the side of the boat, ladies and gentlemen. He's letting her fly. He is your high point champion from last year. Looking to pick up a triple crown. I know he purchased his CPF license last night. He wants the triple crown championship. One left to go. Oh my goodness, all the way back in second place. The CT11, that outside boat, that's the T5 the trophy hunter. He has gone a lap down. In third place, the CT10 of Jonathan Abbott. And back and forth. The East through market driver, Kenny Walton Jr., the T24 for sale. But nobody, I mean nobody's going to catch the T1 of Brandon Kennedy as he's got one half a lap to go. In Old Bam River, we can call him that because he's one of the oldest contestants at the age of 18 here in the T-Class. Enters the boathouse turn. The skip and spray comes up just a little bit. You can see how well that boat is hooked up. And oh, it's up great. He has to go all the way around the outside boat. That's the CT7 of the Lucky 7 of Matthew Lemonland. Brandon goes way out right. He's coming along the shoreline, folks. Give him away. Brandon Kennedy. He is your high point. 
Triple Crown Champion. He's won everything that you can imagine to win in the T-Class in the one and a half years. Not give away if you got the cuts off. He wants to shout out to his final on a run from fifth to fourth to third to second to first place. Here's your second place vote. The CT-11, Stephen Armstrong. Third place, yeah, Jonathan Abbott in the CT-10, the Flying Eagle. In fourth, the fourth sale. What a run this weekend. Why? James Dixon's own uh, Kenny Walt Jr. Man, what a good run with that 24 boat. That boat is for sale if you want to get into hot point racing. That was a great run by Kenny Walt driving the four sale boat. Just to show you how strong a field we have here, our current points leader, Jonathan Abbott, finishes a distant third, about four or five rooster tails back. This is a stout field we have here. This is just the first heat of racing. I'm already sitting on the edge of my seat. Yeah, definitely. If Brandon picks up 150 good points this on this Sunday win because you get 150 for the Triple Crown win.